What's happening, everyone? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Just hopping on here real quick, wanted to share an idea or a thought with you, I guess. I wanted to propose this question. What are you planting in your garden? And let me explain for just a minute, right? All of us have probably been around or had family members or you maybe have a garden right now in your backyard. So imagine with me if you would, if you go out to your backyard and you've got maybe a small garden that you are planting um, as you go into the planting season and you're going to you know, dig up a little hole and you're going to plant some corn, you're going to plant some tomatoes, you're going to plant some green peppers. Do you know that the, the law principle of the law of sowing and reaping, that the ground really doesn't care what you plant, right? I want you to think about that for and it really doesn't matter what you plant because if you plant whatever seed you plant in the ground if you water it and it gets enough sunlight it's going to grow and it's going to create a harvest of whatever you've planted you plant corn you're going to get corn you plant green peppers you're going to get green peppers if you plant nightshade you plant poison ivy you're going to get poison ivy you're going to get a nightshade growth if it's all based on the laws of what you sow into the ground you will reap a harvest so when i ask you what are you planting in your garden i want you to think uh, now translate that metaphor into your mind or into your life into your environment what are the things that you are planting in your mind what are the things that you're planting in your life, into your thinking, into your mindset? What, what are those things that you're investing in that's planting? Because again, your mind doesn't care what you plant. Your subconscious mind doesn't care what you put in there. The law of sowing and reaping is going to happen. You're going to reap whatever you plant. So if you want more of something in your life, what you have to do is look at what you're planning and determine whether or not what you're planting is what you want to reap on the other side of that sowing. So what I mean planting fear in your mind, you're going to reap more fear. If you plant more negativity, you're going to reap more negativity. If you plant positivity, if you plant love and joy, you're going to get more of that. Think about that in every aspect of your life. What are you planting in your garden? You know, a lot of times, you know, people are asked, I was listening to an audio and it, it created an aha moment moment for me. I believe it was uh, Earl Nightingale. And again, I try to do my best to plant good things into my mind. I try to sit at the feet of great giants that have gone before me and sit at their wisdom and figure out ways that I can continue to plant good things into my mind and into my life. And he had talked about the value or the intangible value of things that are free, right? So our mind, our health, our soul, our lives, right? Those things are free. Those things we didn't have to pay for anything. And the things that we pay for are typically the things that we value, right? I've talked before about my children, right? When I pay for a pair of shoes for my kids, they don't seem to appreciate it as much as they do if they have to reach into their pocketbook and pull out their hard-earned money to buy a pair of shoes. But you know, it's almost a paradox because the things that we value that cost money can actually be replaced. The things that are free cannot be replaced. Then those are the things we don't put value in. Isn't that crazy to think about? I mean, it was just like a, a wow moment for me and I've heard it multiple times but the things that we should be valuing you know our minds our soul our you know our love for others our loved ones in our lives you know our bodies right our bodies we came into this world we got a body you know and it's free our health is there and if we don't do the necessary things to make sure that we keep that intact it'll start to decay it's decaying anyway but the point is is that if you go to the gym you work out and you eat right and you do the necessary things you can prolong your life but a lot of those things we take for granted we don't put value in those things like we do in the things that cost money you can look at anybody they've lost their fortune but they were able to bring it back right but they had a relationship where they had their health and they weren't able to bring that back and that didn't cost them the thing that the, the wealth did so it's very fascinating, but again, getting back to what are you planting? I really want you to take an assessment of that. What are you planting in your environment? What are you planting in your relationships? What are you planting into your mind? What are you planting in every aspect of your life? If you don't like the results that you're getting, then you need to focus on changing the seed that you're planting. So I hope that's been helpful to you. Again, what are you planting? Contemplate that, think about that. Look at the harvest, look at the things that you're reaping in your life. And if you're not liking those results, then plant a different seed. Because the ground doesn't care, it doesn't care what you plant. It's gonna reap what you sow, negative or positive, but if you want something different, you got to plant something different. So hope it's been helpful to you. Until next time, bye for now.